Hi, my name is Becky. Welcome to Learning Chinese. 学中文 Just like in English, Chinese has an alphabet too. We call it Pinyin. Today's lesson will focus on the Chinese alphabet. Pinyin. If you look up here, there's no new letters. They all look the same, except for maybe this one. But the letters are all the same. It's just the order. And in English, we have 26 letters. Well, in Chinese, we have 29. So this is just a general overview of the entire alphabet. I'll break it down so we can get the pronunciation down. The first four we have: bo, po, mo, fo. We break it down like this because these four tend to have the same endings. O right here, so you substitute the first one. B sound, bo, p, po, m, mo, and last one f. Fo, bo, po, mo, fo. The next few. We have d, t, n, l, g, k, h, and this one once again they have the same kind of ending like an u、uh, sound like you're saying da well u、uh, and you just substitute the first letter in so you have d, d, t. T N N L L G G K K and H H D T N L G K H and then we have. J, Q, and X. These are going to sound really different from the English pronunciation. So we have G, T, C. The ending sounds are an E. You have to pull your mouth back and really make that sound. E. So you have G, T, C, and then we're going to have. Z, z, z. For these three, it's almost like you're dragging their individual sound out. Right here, I've written like z, z, z. It's like a buzzing sound. So, but you have to make sure that it comes out long enough to have the sound. Z, z, z. And then W and Y, W, E, W pronunciation down here, and E. Almost like you're gonna say eek, but without the K sound. E, W, E. And then we have these. Well, you're gonna say, wait, but we already went over these. We went over all of these letters already. Why would you combine them together? Well, the truth is, in Chinese, they these three pairs are used a lot. Like you'll see them at the beginning of words all the time, and it makes more sense if you learn them in pairs so that you know what kind of sound they pronounce together, since they're so common. So up here we have z, 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 er, and the ending sound is an er, which is what the r represents. A z, 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 er. These are grouped together because they all have the kind of r sound tagging along. But what might be confusing is that you don't see an r in these three pairs at all. So just remember that it's z, 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 er. And now we've got our vowels. A E I O U in English. A E I O U. 
but then we have this one, which is not very common. So for A, A, O, A, E, U, and then E. So let's look at this one really fast. For E and U, the only difference are the two dots on top of E. Now, E has a funny pronunciation. It's almost like you're saying ew, but you have to keep your mouth in like a tunnel shape. So you'd say E, like you're going to blow a whistle, but with the bigger opening in your mouth. E, so up top. A, O, A, E, U. E. Now, we're just going to do a quick summary. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do a quick summary of the entire Chinese alphabet called pinyin. So, we're going to have bo, po, mo, fo, de, te, ne, le, That's it for today. Thank you for joining me.